Hey again, here I am in the um, video for making the chi-square contingency table in APA style. You can see that I started with a title, so just table one. Um, and so if you had multiple tables in a document, you would just put them in order. Uh, I have the pop quiz reaction by first generation status is the analysis that I conducted in the previous videos, and that is in title case. And then I just have the results down here that I'm going to refer to. And I'm going to go ahead and um, insert my insert my table. So it's good to think through what you're going to include in your table. Um, I'm going to include, and there's different ways to do this. This is just this is just one option. I'm going to include the first column is going to be um, the pop quiz reaction categories. And then I'm going to do the sample size for each cell and the percentage. You could do just the sample size if you wanted to, or just the percentage. I'm going to do both um, for non-first generation, and then I'm going to do another two for first generation, and so that should be enough there. Um, and in the first column, or in the first row rather, uh, I'm going to put the, I'm going to um, go ahead and create another tab over to create more rows. I'm going to combine this. So I'm going to merge this, merge cells. I'm going to say first generation status. And then underneath this, so I'm going to have lots of rows here. Um, I'm going to put, this is going to be non-first generation because I'm going to stick with what I have this order right here. That way it's just easy to look at my example table. I could always move stuff if I wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna merge this here and I'm gonna say this is, um, so this will be, uh, nope. And I'm gonna merge this and this will be yes. And then this column is going to be the N for sample size and then percent for the percentage. Same thing here, N and percent. So again, you could do just N and then that way you wouldn't necessarily have to um, have all these extra columns and rows, but I think this is a little bit clearer. Then on this same row, I'm gonna say pop quiz reaction. And I'm gonna make these um, a little bit smaller. So I want this to all be on one row if possible. And these don't need to be big columns because they're not going to be really large numbers. Maybe I'll make them a little bit bigger for percentages. And try and get these to be about the same. And then below here I'm going to put panic mode. And I like to fill it all in before I do the formatting. And acceptance and pens. I'm just going to put the pens. Uh, and then I'm going to fill in my numbers. So I'm just going to get those straight from here. So this one was five, and the percentage was 33.33%. And um, Zen acceptance was four and 26.67%. And then depends was six, which was 40%. And you want to use the same number of numbers after the decimal. So I'm going to do 40.00. I'm going to add a total column here. And so this was 15 people. And that's 100%. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the yeses. So we have four, we have nine, we have seven, we have 20, and we have 20.00%. Oops, there we go. And then 45.00%, 35.00%, and 100%. And then um, now that we have the numbers in here, 
I'm going to go ahead and center the things that should be centered. So all of this should be centered. So that's easy. Just highlight all of that. Center here. Pop quiz reaction should be centered. And then this is going to be italicized. So the ends and percents, I'm just going to do italics, or you could go up there and italicize. Um, the other thing, and this is a little trickier in Google Docs, um, you want your decimals to line up here. And so um, the easiest way, honestly, sometimes is just to do a space over. And so I'm lining up those decimals. Uh, there is a more complicated way, but it doesn't, Google Docs is not the best at it. You can do it a little bit better in Word, but you just want it to look clean and lined up there. Um, now that that's all done, I can go back to um, making this APA style for the, for the lines, which is kind of the part that I leave for the last part. So I'm going to highlight this entire table, and I'm going to click on this, which is just for um, our border selection. And I'm going to make them all white. So I'm going to choose the select all, and I'm going to make them all white so I can start over. Uh, and then I'm going to go through, and I'm going to make um, I'm going to make the lines across this uh, around the the horizontal lines. So you'll have your top line is going to be solid black. So I can just click on just the top and go up to border color. Um, this kind of varies, so I'm going to go ahead and just do the bottom line here. When you have two lines of description for the variables, um, you can, or more, you can use uh, not the whole line, you can just do the, the partial line here. So I'm going to do um, this bottom line right here as black. So not the whole way across because there's nothing here that's different, it's just here that's different. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. So I'm going to um, I'm going to put a line here, and again at the bottom, make that black. But I'm going to make this line all the way across. So I'm going to highlight that bottom, make that black. There's other ways to do this. You can um, you can again do different methods for creating the lines. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you just want to make sure that the lines look like this. So no vertical lines and then horizontal lines across these different categories. Uh, so now I'm going to add the line at the very bottom. So just line there, make that black. And then my last step, um, or last couple steps, I'm going to make this APA by making type table one bold. The title is going to be in italics. And then you want your entire um, APA paper to be double spaced. And so I'm going to just select this whole thing and I'm gonna make it double spaced here. So there's that. So you could, again, do this a number of different ways. You could make um, this just, you could delete these uh, columns so that it's just the uh, sample size for each cell. Um, you could, instead of having this first generation status label and then having the categories, you could do just yes, um, you could say non first generation, first generation, and then not have this, this uh, row there at all. So there's some flexibility in how you set this up, but in general, this is um, what you'd want to do for an APA style table. I'm going to do one last thing here. I'm going to add a note. And when you do that, the word note is italicized. I'm just going to say the overall. Um, model of association between pop quiz reaction by first generation status was not significant. And then I'm going to put in the um, overall model results. And so um, for that, we had, I'm going to insert the results here. So I'm going to go to insert and equation. And for the equation, I'm going to use the math operations. And I'm just going to select um, the exponent. And so that way I can put in from the Greek letters 
a little chi square right here, chi, arrow over to add the square. You could also use the, um, the superscript function, um, whatever you'd like to do there. But then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of this result. So it was um, two is our degrees of freedom, comma, and then we're gonna have our sample size equals 35. And then um, our actual chi-square value was 1.43, and our P equaled 0.49, and then our Kramer's V was 0 0.20. So that just provides additional information on the overall model um, that you can include. So that, that would be another optional option there. And I'm just gonna um, insert a space before, add space before paragraph, just to make it a little bit cleaner. So that is our table right there. And there we go. Um, so that is the end of this video and I will see you later.